Hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Can I help you? <laughs> Grandpa, can I help you? <laughs> you snub your bowl there, Chucky boy. These new cameras got a kind of a critical adjustment. <laughs> yeah. They can become a ruin it yourself, kid, if you ain't careful. <laughs> I still don't understand why you had to lug it all the way from Joplin. Bob has even your cameras at the studio. Yes, the latest thing. Now look here, young rooster. <laughs> I was just snapping pictures for and they cracked your egg open. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, your paw was hatched too. Yes, I know. Even your grandpappy. Well, that's you. And don't you forget it. <laughs> now, if you'll just stop flipping around like a mess of tadpoles on a flat rock, I'll take a chance here and blast one. Grandpa Collins, my girl's waiting for me to take her to the school dance. I told her I'd pick her up at eight. Well, just let her sit there and ripe it a bit, Chucky boy. She'll be a lot sweeter to you if you do. <laughs> you can carry that too far, Grandpa. Now look here, Magpie. I was just sparking the local chicks for and they cracked your egg too. Yes, Grandpa. Yeah. Well, your ma was hatched. I know. Even your grandma. You were only two years old, then. And don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Grandpa, why don't you take this picture at the studio tomorrow? Yes, we ought to be leaving if we're going to take you to all those open house parties tonight. We, we don't want to keep you up too late, you see. Y yeah, let's do this tomorrow. Now, let's not get a burr in our blanket here. <laughs> I'm just about ready to zing one. What's that, Grandpa? Flash powder, Chuck. Hey, I say you're using flash powder. Well, of course I am. Time exposure would take forever. <laughs> He calls himself a photographer. Doesn't know nothing about flash powder. Well, I know you're using an awful lot. Well, there's three of you, son! <laughs> well, there won't be long. <laughs> Hold it! I think you're gonna like this picture! Can I have a long straw? I'm too tired to lift it. <laughs> How are we going to get that breakfast tray up to Grandpa? Let's call Beacons. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you know, we shouldn't have kept him up so late last night. We shouldn't have kept us up so late last night. The shape we're in, you can imagine how he feels. <laughs> Poor old fellow. He's a wonderful sport, wasn't he? Wasn't he great? Kept insisting he didn't want to come home. Golly. Well, he'll have a lot to tell the boys around 4th and Main Street when he gets Jack back to Joplin. 
wish I had Chuck's energy. I'll dance until midnight and I'll basketball before breakfast. Ooh, to be 17 again. Well, I'd settle for 19. You know, I better call Chuck in to breakfast because he'll wake Grandpa. <laughs> Oh, gee, thanks, Mom. I could use breakfast in bed. I'm really beat. Oh, to be 16 again. got me kind of tuckered out, so I slept in this morning. Till six. <laughs> Come on, boy. See if you can dribble past me. No, I don't feel... <coughs> I don't think Bob feels like dribbling this morning. Oh, what's the matter, son? Well, I, I haven't had breakfast yet. Well, come on. A little exercise will give you good appetite. No, I haven't got... <coughs> Yes. You stop giving it back to me. <laughs> you better get into breakfast too, Grandpa. What would you like? What you got? Oh, orange juice, tomato juice, grapefruit, cantaloupe, oatmeal, cornflakes, eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, waffles, pancakes, toast, coffee, tea, milk, hot chocolate. Chop that off with a piece of apple pie and cheese and call me when it's ready. <laughs> How about you, Bob? Yeah, well, no cheese on my pie, Margaret. Just adrenaline. <laughs> Josh, let's get washed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, say. Got <laughs> standing on the front street. Mark, how long is Mr. Collins staying? Oh, just for the holidays. Whew. Hope I can last. about this. Puppy radio bike. Well, come on, Maggie. Hop on the handlebars and I'll pedal you around the block while we listen to Art Linklater. Try to give away money. <laughs> no. I have to get breakfast, Grandpa. Anyway, Bob wants you to come down to the studio so he can show you his new equipment. New equipment, new equipment, new equipment. It's all right here. Keep sending me them darn catalogs. I don't need no new equipment. When I get up this morning, I developed that picture I took last evening. <laughs> like a flock of fluttering giddy hens. Next time, I'm using head clamps on you. Mr. <laughs> kids. Yes, sir, I'll get it out today. Yes, goodbye. Oh, hi, Mary Beth. Schultze, the diet really worked. Look. 23 exactly. Well, I gotta check it. You know the boss, old Hawkeye. Hey, 22 and three quarters. Hallelujah, I eat tonight. I wanna tell Bob. Oh, he isn't in there. I haven't seen him all week, his holiday parties. 
Every hostess in town wants a good-looking single wolf to liven up her shindy. And that's Bob. Well, next to Santa Claus, he's the most popular man in town. The only difference is the boss makes more stops. How does he take it? Any other man with age 20 years just at Christmas time alone. Well, it's going to catch up with him one of these days. Well, I pleaded with him to take it easy this year. Margaret said he was out again last night. One of these days, it's, it's going to catch, catch up, up with him. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Oh, yes, I pleaded with you. <laughs> Say, this Hollywood's a friendly little place, ain't it? <laughs> well, I tell the boys back around the Keystone Hotel, I got Hug Bester Williams. <laughs> oh, you, you're the boss's grandfather? What you doing tonight, honey? <laughs> You're the boss's grandfather. Hey, Schultze. That's right. Josh Collins. Uh, this is Mary Beth Hall, one of your grandson's favorite models. Yeah, mine too. Mr. Collins, I'm sorry I threw myself at you like that. Well, it happens all the time, daughter. Us Collins boys just got it, that's all. <laughs> is your grandson coming in today? Yeah, well, he's going to try to make it. Say, he's got quite an emporium here, ain't he? He wanted me to come over and look over some of his new, uh, equipment. <laughs> What'd you do tonight, honey? Eating. She's been on a diet to get down to a 23-inch waist. Yes, she overshot a little. She's 22 and three quarters. <laughs> you are the boss's grandfather. The new camera's been here. Come on in, honey. I'll snap a couple of you. Who are you eating with tonight? <laughs> Welcome, stranger. Oh, morning, Sophie. Morning, morning, morning. Uh, your grandson's in there. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Joplin Flash. Oh, hold it, boss. I, I've just got to get these checks and letters mailed out today. Oh, yeah. Has he um, been looking over the stuff? He hasn't stopped. Well, that stereo three-dimension camera fascinated him, too. Oh, good. I gotta get some stamps, boss. I'll be right back. Grandpa, I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, take your time, sonny boy. Ever been to Joplin? Yeah, fine city. Gateway to the Ozarks. I understand you like the three-dimensional model. <laughs> yes, sir. She's a pippin. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to take it back to Joplin with you? <laughs> Comes equipped with a nice case, you know. <laughs> you like pig skin or calf skin? Well, I tell you, son, the skin she's in ain't bad. <laughs> All right, just sling it over your shoulder if you want to and take it along. Maybe. Maybe. What's this all about? Grandpa. And don't you forget it. <laughs> Grandfather Collins borrowed it. Yeah, my radio bike's missing, too. Well, he's listening to Art Linkletter while riding over to the tennis courts. Hey, Mom, is he for real? Hmm? What a guy. Well, he's old, you know, and he likes to get out in the California sun. He likes to get out after the sun goes down, too. What? He asked me to double date with him tonight. <laughs> well, he said I had him up. Uncle Bob's bathing beauty's lined up. For heaven's sake. You know, we've got to do something to slow him down or you collapse before we ever... Chelsea, 
Uh, can I speak to Bob, please? I'm not mad, Bob. He's such a sweet old thing. It's just that it was such a surprise to me, that's all. To you, maybe, not to me. He and Charles Coburn would make a great team. <laughs> Boss, Margaret's on the phone. Thanks, Schultz. Hi, sis. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, Margaret, it's funny. Yes, yes, I happen to know just who he has in mind. Margaret, look, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Honey, I'll take care of it. Okay. Bye-bye. Mary Beth, how would you like to make the rounds of some parties with me tonight? Hmm? Oh, Bob, that would be wonderful. It's been a long time, hasn't it, honey? An eternity. But tonight I live. Ham, chicken, turkey, fruitcake. Mary Beth, egg. wait a minute, wait a minute. You'll be right back to a 25 waistline again. But, Bob, it's Christmas. You want to spend New Year's in the steam cabinet? Throw enough clams in with me and it's a deal. <laughs> Honey, tonight I'm going to make you forget all about food. Wonderful. Because all I can think about is turkey and dressing and mashed potatoes and gravy and pump... ...can pie with whipped cream and brown pudding and brandy fruit cake. Ice cream and roast beef. <laughs> well, hi there, Maggie. Hi, Grandpa. How'd you do? Well, did pretty good until all them young feathers got tired. Gee, wonder if you'd mind fixing me a snack. I'm as hungry as a wolf. Oh, dinner will be ready pretty soon. No, no, I ain't gonna be here for dinner. I'm getting me a date with one of Bobby's bathing beauties. Yeah, still busy. Well, I can understand why she's busy, all right. Grandpa, you know, when people get old, they've got to start taking it easy and get lots of rest. Yeah. Them's my sentiments, too, Maggie. That's what I'm going to do. When I get old. <laughs> oh, to be 75 again. I was just calling you. Listen, Bob, Grandpa insists he's going to have a date tonight. Well, that's right, he is. Well, but he should stay home tonight. Margaret, I am fixing him up with a date that likes to spend a quiet evening sitting by the fire. Oh, <laughs> you know that answers that description. Mrs. Taylor? Oh, you mean that little lady with the what? Listen, she's too quiet for Grandpa. All she wants to do is play checkers. You'll never ask her for a date. No. If he does, I'll eat my hat. My... Hello, Mrs. Taylor? Mrs. Taylor, th this is Bob Collins calling. Oh, yes, thank you. Fine. Say, uh, Mrs. Taylor, my grandpa is visiting here from uh, Joplin, Missouri, and uh, he'd very much like to talk to you. He would not. Well, howdy there, Mrs. Taylor. Uh, this is Josh Collins calling. <laughs> Say, uh, I've been admiring you as I pedal by on my wheel. Yeah, you're a pretty little thing. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, thank you. Uh, say, how about coming over this evening and getting a little better acquainted? Some enchanted evening. <laughs> Who may see you, stranger? Well, we can play some checkers, maybe. Pull a little taffy. Brew up some sassafras tea. <laughs> Sounds pretty square to me. Party line, blabbermouth. Some enchanted evening. You will see a stranger. Bye bye. All right, Smarty. You got him a date. Now, how are you going to make him keep it? Well, it's extremely simple. We simply tell him his date will be here at 7:30. We're gone. He's stuck with a dull evening, but a longer life. Try it with cream sauce. Uh. <laughs> Hi, 
Ah, madame. Oh, thank you, monsieur. <laughs> now that that's over with, where's your Uncle Bob? Oh, he left about a half hour ago to pick up his date. Oh, good. Boy, you gotta hand it to him, Mom. He sure outsmarted Grandpa. <laughs> I'm glad he did. Grandpa really needs a quiet evening at home. I'll get it. Oh, hello, Mrs. Taylor. Evening, Charles. Mrs. Taylor, how nice to see you. I just know you're going to like Grandfather Collins. Well, if he can play checkers, we'll get along just dandy. <laughs> <laughs> well, won't you come in and sit down? Oh, thank you. Chuck, will you tell Grandfather Collins that Mrs. Taylor's here? Yes, Mom. Hey, Gramps! Your date's on deck! <laughs> Well, he'll be right down. Now, you just make yourself comfortable and have a lovely evening. Thank you. We thought this table would be nice for your checkerboard. Oh, yes, this is fine. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess Chuck and I will be running along then. Good night. Good night, dear. From the enchanted evening, <laughs> you may see a stranger. Just take a huh? Oh, Mary Beth, I just remembered something. Why don't you wait in the car? Just play the radio. I'll be a second. Just a second. No, no, I never, never heard that one before. Well, well, I can't understand where he is. He may have dozed off. I'll go up and get him. young party pooper will never make it tonight. <laughs> oh, he's plum tuckered out, you know. What? Yeah, what the boy needs is a quiet evening at home. He ain't used to following me around, you see. But we had a dinner date tonight. He was going to take me out for a spinach burger. Spinach burger? Say, I'll have to loan him a couple of bucks. I thought he was doing pretty well. <laughs> Honey, you, you better stick with me. I'll show you a real feed. Fried chicken, roast beef, mashed potatoes, gravy, all the trimmings. Yeah. These cherry centers ought to hold you till we get there. <laughs> okay, tell you what. We'll take Bobby's auto. Make sure he don't do no gallivanting tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Nobody upstairs. I just heard somebody out there. Didn't sound like a basketball, did it? Huh? No, no. I'll get him. He's somewhere. Grandpa? Shall we make it the best eight out of 15? You might as well, yes. <laughs> An enchanted evening. You may see a stranger. You may see a stranger. 
stranger across, across a crowded room <laughs> and night after was played by Gloria Marshall and Mrs. Taylor by Mary Young. The part of Grandpa was played by the pride of Joplin, Missouri. Furs by Tidal Bomb. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. <laughs> <laughs>